I like to beat up on sinks, you know. <laughs> Okay, whenever you guys ready, don't fear we do the beef. Homemade ginger beer. Because it's Earth Day, so the hotel is doing the housemade ginger beer. Our pastry chef made it like three days ago. It's actually pretty good. We're gonna serve it for a cocktail party for our house guests. For the Earth Day, turn on the lights and <laughs> some rum with it. Good stuff. <laughs> this is intense. Gotta have good balance, you know. Gotta be consistent now. Stop dropping it. Okay. Yours is touching. Yours is touching, Pete. Burn yours. You put yours in before mine, you know. Feed them sick and feed them seeking. No, pick it up. Check the color. Oh, no, yeah. I'm I'm missing. Trying to get in trouble. I got in trouble. That's how I'm taking it out. Okie dokie. That's it, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 See, his got chef in. He was just picking up straight off the oil. You gotta let it sit for a little bit. It's not hot. This is gonna be a squeezer. It's been a pretty good day. It's been a good day. I haven't been on the um, the beef with the mashed potato and the crusted breadcrumbs with these um, like and dark and stormy um, jus at the bottom. It was to die for. Just divine. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> So it looks a big right now, okay. but you got a one, or, one and a half ounce meat and then you have a two ounce starch. That, this is your starch for the whole dish. Mm -hmm. So we're only going to add uh, cauliflower and some pearled vegetable for color and then a garnish it. I'm a big girl. No? These are the ones that didn't make it out. Those are the ones that were soaked in oil. Not a good chef. Not at all. Uh, my pan wasn't hot enough, so it didn't get a good color. It just soaked up the oil and made it really soggy. That's definitely not what you want. So I just fixed that um, just by starting over, basically. You want to see the black? Put it in here. Another one like that. Cool. Explain what he made. This is the uh, cassava. Caramelized, caramelized onions and blue cheese, and we just made a grilled cheese sandwich out of it. Local style, got the local flavors in there with the bermuda onions and the cassava. And to spice it up, the hardy blue cheese. Pretty good. Maybe a little bit more blue cheese. So I don't talk with him off for. <laughs> That's rude. Yeah, a little bit more blue cheese. So you will empower the, the sweetness. So you counter, counter the sweetness. When you do well, it for me, I think just having consistent knife cuts for my cassava and also ensuring that I get that nice golden color that we're looking for for when we uh, put together the sandwiches and just make sure that I put enough <laughs> make sure that I put enough blue cheese on it because chef said I could have used a little bit more to balance out the flavors but it's still everything's a learning process so I'm just 
grateful to have him be part in some more wisdom on me. Because uh, the culinary, it's art. You you taste it and your eyes devote it. So you gotta please both of them. When you give both away, then it becomes boring. Potato and meat. What have you created? Oh, I have. Made a tomato and bisque soup. It has banana. To, uh, to, tomato banana bisque soup. <laughs> has vegetable stock and onions and a little bit of salt and pepper. A little blend. And voila. Good day. Tell us a bit about the team and your I mean this is the final stretch for you, so tell us what yeah. you think of the team today. The team was really good. We is, in one hour we put in three dishes. Uh, very professional guys, they were fast, asking questions, and much better than the first time. So looking forward for next week. We do one day before we prep for it, and then the day we're gonna go into idea. Team Fremont Hamilton. Yeah, we're rocking. Yeah. <laughs>